We're going to use a online calculator called StatKey, online simulating tool, to calculate uh, summary statistics of one variable stats. Imagine that situation where you have a bunch of players uh, who shot 25 three-pointers during practice. And this is how many each player made. So you have all the different numbers. Uh, each of these represents a different player and how many three-pointers that they made out of 25. You take that list. And if you want to do uh, get some information, such as where is the center, how much is the spread, you're going to need to put this list of numbers into the descriptive statistics for one quantitative variable uh, part. First thing that you'll do when this uh, comes up, well, if you were looking at the initial screen for StatKey, you would go to one quantitative variable, so descriptive statistics and graphs for one quantitative variable. And you immediately are going to go to the edit data. So we're going to put in our own data. And here it says arsenic and a bunch of other numbers. That's some initial data set that they have. They have some other ones that you could choose just to play around. But what we're going to do is we're going to edit the data and put in our own. All of these numbers here you can get rid of. The title up top, the arsenic, you can leave that. You can change it to a different thing. Uh, but I won't worry about it. As long as that box is checked, you can leave that title there. And let's see, what are those numbers we want to put in? 4, 8, 9, 9, 10. So we type that in and we put an enter uh, between each of our numbers. We have another 10, 12, 14, 14, 17. And if you need to pause the video while I do this, that's fine. And a 22 at the end. Once all the data is in, you hit OK. And it gives you this graph, this dot plot. And sometimes this will be very useful, sometimes you won't need this as much. What we're going to focus on right now, though, is uh, over on the right. You'll see these summary statistics. It says sample size mean, standard deviation, and then uh, what we'll call the five number summary. Everything in here is actually very useful. The five number summary at the bottom, uh, these five values are going to help you make box plots. So these five right here, the minimum, which is the lowest number, that makes sense, the lowest number right here is the four, the maximum, 22, the median, the number in the middle of the distribution, and then the quartiles, the one-fourth the way through the distribution, nine, and three-fourths the way through the distrib distribution, 14. So those numbers are useful. Uh, but the other numbers we see up near the top, uh, sample size 11 means there's 11 numbers. And then the mean and standard deviation. So the mean is a uh, measure of the center. The standard deviation is a measure on average of how far apart the numbers are. The other things that you can calculate from this uh, is the variance. The variance is just the standard deviation squared. So you take your standard deviation, in this case it's 4.9, and you square it. So I take out my calculator, I type in 4.9 squared, I get 24.01. So the variance, 24.01. We could probably report it as 24.0. I'm not going to be very picky with the rounding, but if you remember scientific notation, uh, you are free to use that. The range is the highest to the lowest. The range is how far apart is the highest and lowest number, or the maximum minus the minimum. So if you take the max of 22, subtract 4, uh, hopefully you don't need your calculator for that, that's going to be 18. And then finally the IQR, the interquartile range, is another form of range, but it's not between the ends, it's between the quarters. So we have the 14 and the 9. We have quarter 3 minus quarter 1 is going to be 5. So a lot of the numbers are just given to you directly in uh, the computer output. Some of them you'll still need to calculate by yourself uh, because it's not part of that standard list and a bunch of other graphing functions are automatically available from the main screen.